and this is the Devil Dancer. Welcome back to episode two of Mind Fantasy Two. All right, as I said before, we're going to make a shovel and an additional pick. So let's uh, get making these. Uh, let me see. I believe this was the hoe. So that's the shovel. There we go. Shovel. All right, we make that one by hand. Let's go ahead and take that and load it into where we're going to need it. And the pick is simple enough. We just need to make sure we get our sticks. And got to remember how to do that. So, let's add those in. There's our stone pick for a spare. And we do need to get our hands free so we can build the pick. All right, now let's, let's go ahead and get a small chest built so I don't have to carry everything. I'm gonna need some room. Hopefully I'll have lots of uh, stuff to bring back. I don't need any of that. Got those. Let's go ahead and take one sharp stone so that we can build uh, I don't need the hammer. All right, it looks like it looks like I need to close that. All right, so it is going to be nighttime. I am going to have to wait for the sun to come up. Now to. What I need to. Uh, those are still bloody. Okay, I can't do anything with these. I have to wash these large hides to make them clean so that I can put them on the tanning rack and tan them. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't show the tanning process there. Let's see if it does in here. I'm sure it won't. Of course not. All right. I do need the book. I don't need the book. Can I make the research table? Let's make the research table. See if I can do this. And we'll need that, that. We're going to be pushing it awful close for this research table. Because we will need one of them. Need four of those. So I do need to build another crafting table. What am I missing? Oh, that's right. Doesn't get built in here. This is shapeless crafting, which shapeless crafting is done in the workbench. There's that. Now I put that in with the research book on top and research table. Let's go ahead and hammer this one out. Uh, I do hear a zombie outside that wants in. It doesn't lose your book, so you still get to keep it. And you get the research table. And we'll go ahead and put that down. We will put the hammer away. And we'll put that timber away. If you do hear any noise in the background, it is my kitten playing. He uh, decided to wake up and want to play. So, enjoy the kitten playing. All right, so for the research, you would put the item in, and let's see if I have anything to research. Um, hmm. 
Uh, I'm gonna need leather for that. All right, so the only thing that, these are all researched, so that's that's a good thing. Let's go to artisanry, because that's going to be our smithing and our armor, arrows, metals. This is going to be our lifeblood to survive. This is going to be our lifeblood to defend ourselves. Uh, construction, that's still survival. That's some place to live. This is our lifeblood to survive. Food. Glorious food. All right, so back to artisanry. We'll get to the others in a little bit. Uh, if you take a look over here, like the artisanry has a one. That means that I'm level one. It's this nice little gold bar. That is my construction. That does mean I have that much progress into construction to level two. Now, if we come down here, these are learned. These are are able to be learned next thing in line to be learned not quite able um, this one is requires zero artisanry medium armor is zero of one that means there is one research that needs to be done in the research table in order to unlock this now I happen to know that this medium armor requires leather See, you can't even click on it. But if I come in here to the light armor, everything's using leather. So that's kind of a hint. You're either going to need leather or thread. And with armor, I would definitely go with the leather as a guess. But like I said, I do know I am going to need a piece of leather to research. And that will get me the medium armor unlocked. Now, the Bodkin Arrows, it requires artisanry 10. It requires 10 artisanry. So, I have to get my artisanry up to level 10 in order to even do the research. Yes, it won't even let you do the research until you're that level. I will double check that. That that was the newest version that that's not working right, but this version here that still has the research, um, I will double check. I'm pretty sure. But the bronze smithing, of course, if you take a look here, if you're gonna bronze it cars let me see three bronzes two copper and one tin so if you had to really guess what you needed to research for bronze smithing i would have to say copper and tin and i would be correct that's why i want to go get copper and tin when the sun comes up finally advanced alloy mixing 40 arsonry that is going to be a little bit of a ways away the repair kits are really nice. There are only 10 artisanry, so we do need our artisanry up. And we can get that up through books. We can also get it up by making items. Forging weapons, armors, arrows. Anything in this tab that we forge is going to raise our artisanry. Uh, if we build, the bloomery, building the alloy, uh, sorry, building the crucible, that right there is going to work on our construction, which isn't that bad because that helps us out. So let's go back to the beginning here. And the other way is if you make the talismans of knowledge. This is a lesser talisman of knowledge. You can make this by the lapis, either silver or gold ingots around that, iron one, and then you add dye, so you have the lesser knowledge, dye in a book, and you can get the art of the forge. You can also find these in villages. They give you plus one artisanry. Uh, the, any of the NPCs have a chance of dropping these. 
which is nice. This one's for provisioning. Uh, here's engineering. Engineering, I haven't really played all that much with the engineering, but I tell ya, I'm looking forward to the bombs. And here's weaponry. Weaponry is interesting because it does not give you anything to build. Um, let see, mastery. Don't know why it doesn't say weaponry here or say mastery, but ma the weaponry is mastery. Those are the same thing. Now, once I get to 10 in weaponry, which I get through fighting, I can take toughness. And when we get there, I'll be able to read the description as to what it does. But it does reduce the amount of damage you take. So I will take the large hides with me. And I do apologize for the red lines. Unfortunately... Let me try... To, well, I'm not going to be able to get rid of them. Because unfortunately, they are bound to the key that controls my OBS. So, if I try to get rid of them, I'm going to shut my recording off. I will have to... Oh, uh, no. Yeah, there's the dragon. Uh, sun's just coming up. We're able to go out, and the dragon shows up. I am not armored, and a stone spear is no competition for this thing. Now, there's a chance that we can look around and find it. There he is, young green dragon. He's directly above us. Not a good thing. We're going to have to wait for him to go away. I really don't want to, but... And he's still there. What is he doing? Wait, oh, huh? no. Still there. Okay, this could take a little bit. I've seen them stick around for half a day before. I will try to get this situated so that uh, these red lines do not appear again. Um, I'll have to do it before I actually load into the game. That should take care of the red lines not coming up again. Again, I do apologize, but you can at least see where the chunks are. Alright, I do not see the green dragon anymore. He is gone. We are going to have a bit of a fight here. Maybe. I wonder if there's a, uh, a cavern that these guys are in. Must be. Alright, let's run over here. We will say hello to the chickens. Pick up an egg. We'll come over here and we'll uh, gather up some coal. Gather up some other stuff. Drop down here. Let's wash up. You can wash these. You just put them in your, in your hand. And right click. Several times. You can just hold it down. And they become clean large hide. Now those should give me two to three. Where'd that coal go? They should give me two to three leather when I process them. Oops. Okay, there's some coal here. Let's go ahead and swim over. out and we'll mine some coal real quick just some coal so we can get the uh, stuff rolling here we will have to get some cobblestones melt down into stone so we can build our 
other equipment. And it does take hold to build the blacksmith attire, the foundry, well, the forge actually. And uh, the bloomery takes a block of coal. Pretty expensive. But, not bad at all. And there's a cave. So let's look for. Ah, copper. Need more copper. I'm gonna need a lot more copper. Okay, so. One there. I got 16 coal on me. That should be okay. Um, I would much appreciate it if the game was nice and gave me copper. Walk right by it. Alright, so, uh, if you ever watch a Let's Player and you're like, you walk right by it, let me tell you what, it really is that easy when you're recording, because I just did it, and I'm usually the one yelling, you walk by it, turn around. I'm going to have to nerd pull. So I need to find out if that's tin or what that is up there. So let's put the copper up, bring that down. Let's put the egg and the coal up too. Alright, so we need to go up right about here. Let's get the timing right. All right, let's see what this is. And, all right, 10. Look at that, that's exactly what I wanted. So let's pop in here. This will be able to, we'll smelt this down in the furnace because it actually has to be ingots and not the bars from Mind Fantasy. Well, let me take that back. It used to be. That was in the newest version. So, as far as I know, it still needs to be, but we'll double check it. And this would be perfect if I had the thirst mod because it is raining constantly. And my pick broke. And the new one that I had made just came into my hand. That is part of inventory tweaks. So, that's not bad. Alright, so, what do we got here? Oh my god, we still got more coal. Okay. Let's go ahead and get us a little bit of cobblestone so we can build what we need. Just not worried about how this comes out. I will get a lot more. I gotta get some trees too before nightfall. Because I will be digging a mine. I'll sink my mine shaft tonight. So let's go ahead, get down. I uh, should find more copper and tin when I mine. This will get me started. head over and we will chop those trees down so let's put the axe down and get it ready and as soon as we get armored up and weaponed up we'll uh, excavate this and crack it open and see if it's zombie skeletons or minotaurs. That's when the fun begins.
Minotaurs aren't bad because, well, you know, you rather cows. <laughs> so they do drop leather, or hide, I should say. And uh, usually the hide does quite well. You can get a lot of leather out of the hide. Let's get as many trees as we possibly can before nightfall. Sticks, man, I'm not going to complain about getting sticks, but what I really want, other than saplings, I want those vines. We're going to need quite a bit of, of uh, picks for our mining. And hopefully the volumes are okay. I will just a little bit more of the volume. Let me get uh, one more tree here. Doesn't sound, but that weather, man, that rain is loud. You know what? While that rain is coming down, let's just go ahead and pop in here. I am going to... Turn the weather down to about 55%. There, that sounds a lot better. It's raining, you get to hear it, but you get to hear me. Because that was just ridiculous. All right, let's put these back. Let's throw that there. I uh, don't need the egg, don't need that, don't need that. I will need these two. Alright, so we are going to make leather. We'll just put that right there. We'll bring this down. And to do this, we just have our tanning rack. Clean hides. Right click, puts it in. Shows the knife. So we just come over to the stone knife, which we can use, and we right click. And remember, make sure you have that second delay so that it will work right. It's one. There we go. And as you can see, it's going to give us five leather off of this one hide. So let's go ahead and get this. There we go. To get it out and put a new one in, you just right click and right click. Uh, if you're just going to take it out, make sure you have an empty hand and right click on it, and it will take it out. Uh, the racks do break, so don't expect them to last too long. You can upgrade them, and we will be upgrading it in the future. But right now, let me finish this. And we will go ahead and call this an episode. So, the next episode, I will have the leather finished. I showed you how to do that, so I'll finish that. And, uh, yeah, we'll find a place to sink a mine in here. Maybe right here. Right there looks like a good place. So I'll make some uh, ladders, and we will sink the mine next episode, as well as get the other stuff and get some research done. So until then, this has been the Devil Dancer, and I hope you had a great time with me, and thank you for watching. See you next time.